Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 109, the fourth video in a series of 15 videos dealing with the notion of absolute value inequalities. The problem that you see on the blackboard is something that I gave you yesterday as a homework after we finished after we finished doing the problem that we were working on yesterday. I gave you a homework towards the end and this is it. Let's work on it together. I hope that you already solved it all on your own and now we're going to compare your work against the work that you and I will do together. Okay? We have to solve for y. That's all it is. The very first thing we need to do is get rid of this 9 from this side here on the left hand side by subtracting 9 from both sides. Let's subtract 9 from here. Let's subtract 9 from here. 9 is going to drop out and now what we find is that the absolute value of 6y minus 3 has to be greater than or equal to positive 7 and negative 9 which is negative 1, negative 2. Now what do you gather from that? What does it tell us? We know that the absolute value has to be always positive. Absolute values, absolute value means, means that, that 6y minus 3, this quantity, must, must always be positive. That's what absolute value means. Absolute value means that this is, this is always, this quantity is going to be always positive, which means regardless of what y, what value y takes, that means that regardless, regardless of what value what values, what value y takes, regardless of what value y takes, doesn't matter what y is, regardless of what value y takes, the absolute value of this quantity, 6y six, six minus 3, absolute value of this quantity will always be positive will always be positive and therefore and therefore greater than negative 2 we are told it has to be more than negative 2 of course it's going to be more than negative 2 because this value of course this value is of course the value of this quantity 6y minus 3 is going to be more than negative 2 more than or equal to negative 2 it's going to never be it, it will never be equal to obviously it will always be more than negative 2 because this value is always has to be positive. The absolute value means that this quantity must always be positive. Therefore, what we, what we conclude is that regardless of what value y takes, the absolute value of 6y minus 3 will always be positive and therefore greater than negative 2. How do we say this in the language of mathematics? Well, before we talk about how, how do we say it in the language of mathematics, let me put in a very simple term, very simplistic term, in a colloquial term. What that means is that what 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 the translation of all this what what translation of all this is that this this here's the translation I'm going to put it down here what this tells us what this implies is that y can be whatever the hell it wants to be well there you go y can be whatever the hell it wants to be there are no restrictions on y y can take any value that it wants it makes absolutely no difference what y is going to be whether y is going to be negative 37 or positive 37 or negative 2 million or negative 30 million or negative 45 billion or positive 4 billion and 37 and 45 4 billion 37 million and 35 it doesn't matter what y is going to be y can take any value it wants by the time you take the absolute value of 6 times this quantity minus, five, minus 3 by the time you take the absolute value this quantity becomes positive and therefore it will always be greater than negative 2. Because this is always going to be positive, it is always going to be greater than 2 regardless of what value y takes. Here's what it is. Y can, be, y can be whatever the hell it wants to be. Of course, that's not how a mathematician will speak. That's not how you will find the solution in the textbook, in the mathematics textbook. So now we have to write down the solution in the terminologies of mathematics, in the language of mathematics, in the jargon of mathematics which we'll do on the top. I need the room so we can erase this thing. So here, here is how the solution appears in the textbook, in, in the math textbooks. Solution set, they will say, the math book will say, the solution set the 
solution set. Solution set is how they say, what, solution set is what we say, the allowable values of Y. Allowable values of Y is what the mathematician will call a solution set. Allowable values of Y, or solution set, is, is all real numbers. All real numbers translated into all real numbers translated into colloquial language means it can be whatever the hell it wants to be. That's what it means. All real number, whatever the hell it wants to be. Or sometimes you will see it like this. They will say y equals like this. All real numbers. So in the textbook they will either write it like this or they will write it like this. And that's what it is. All real numbers. All real numbers. I'm going to digress here for a second. I'm going to digress here for a second. I have no room some anywhere. All real number means it can be rational or irrational numbers. I don't want to get into that right now. All real number simply means that x, uh, uh, all real number simply means that this y that you see here can be either rational number or irrational number. But I'm not going to go into it right now. We spent five days on the topic of irrational and rational numbers. If you have not watched those videos, watch day number Day, watch day number one, 101, 101 to 105. From day number 101 and to, through 105, we spend five days talking about rational and irrational numbers. Here, when we say that solution set is all real numbers, real numbers are made up of rational numbers and irrational numbers. It doesn't matter what, why, whether y is a rational number or irrational numbers, whether y is positive or negative, whether y is odd or even whether y is a fraction or a whole number, it makes no difference at all. y can be whatever the hell it wants to be. Translation, solution set, is all real numbers. Any real number will do here. This is how we write it. y equals all real numbers with a parenthesis around it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.